man he's actually looked pretty good it's just that they have these really high highs and these absolutely crazy lows that come through and i just i can't wrap my head around it mike i don't get it like the end of the season was really poor for them unfortunately and then the qualifiers you were talking about they couldn't qualify to katavice they couldn't qualify to atlanta like there's all of these opportunities that were presented to them and against teams they could be beating and it's not happening. So I agree with you. Now is the time for NRG to get to a land finally. Yeah. And make it to the grand final here in Challenger League. And I think we'll get into the pistol here. But I think this is also a situation where if you're NRG, um, you've gone with tried and true names. You've gone with, frankly, yeah. retreads in a lot of situations, right? Different mm -hmm. degrees of it. Hexed and OC being newer names in the top. Hexed in particular. Yeah. But if you're talking about Nitro, Automatic, Breeze, we've got their resumes. They're pretty stellar resumes, yes. to be fair. But we have their resumes. There are known quantities in a way that, I mean, honestly, just a lot of teams aren't doing anymore. You've seen the, the youth movement sweep through the Counter-Strike world. It's the young prodigies, the don'ts, the monocies taking over the imagination of so many teams. And, I mean, you see it on Party Astronauts. You've got two young guns, 18 and 19, are OG Wizard and Peeping. So for NRG, I think it's demonstrating that these more experienced veteran players can still hang with young dogs. And right now, these veterans are finding the savviest move of all. A free bomb site, a free plant, and a 10 man alive pistol round. Almost was. Fang says no. They chase him into the church. This is exactly what Fang was supposed to do. Stay alive, peel away bodies if he can, and he's done so. Now the retake is on. Now they got the two-man advantage. Once the smoke fades, it's big trouble on for NRG. Got to get some snappy shooting. That's a great way to start. Oh, Hex what? follows it up all the way. Can't quite finish the kill, but he sets up Osi. And now the one we've won. Automatic doesn't have to give him the fight. Infinite doesn't have armor. He doesn't have a kit. And as he swings out, oh, wow. that's Automatic who should finish. Beautiful work from Hex. I mean, this is the star power that Hex has displayed time and time again in terms of his ability. Well, this time not with the rifle, but in the pistol round. That is a wicked 3k. Almost a fourth, but he had to reload, obviously, in that. Oh, didn't have enough time to do it, but he sets his teammates up for a nice situation of trades back and forth, and it ends up going the way of NRG Automatic winning in that 1v1. It was a great execute as well, and even Fang, I mean, crediting him for good reason. I mean, he dropped a few bodies at the beginning of the round, but, I mean, it's just a heroic individual effort from Hex that saves the day. And one thing I want to add to what you said before, Mike, is I feel like this is kind of the last chance for almost all these players on NRG, right? Because they're veterans, they've been around, they've had their chances to succeed, and if they don't find it here, I don't know if they're gonna get any other teams to have some interest here. Fang's gonna get an opener here, Breeze finds the trade and Hex finds the other. It's a 4v3 and an anti-eco for NRG. And now it's feeling real clean. Any danger on, gone. Just a question whether they can peel any more damage. Fang with that deagle. I mean, if he kills OC here, maybe it's a gun retrievable. You gotta give it a try, so he will. But a try is all it is. All right, so good start for NRG. Remind you, this is PA's pick. Mixing things up, the Mirage didn't work out this time, so they're trying to see if there's vulnerabilities here on Inferno. And it's kind of one of those things where you look at it and you say, I don't know if that was the greatest idea. NRG is not exactly uncomfortable on this map. I mean, but they're also not uncomfortable on Mirage, right? Like, this it's, is true. It's hard. It's hard to pick if you're party astronauts because technically, if there's one thing that's going well for NRG, it's having a pretty deep map pool. Um, and they're not really uncomfortable on any one map except maybe Dust 2, but BA's worse on Dust 2, so that's why they didn't pick into that, of course, or get anywhere close to it. So, yeah, I, I mean, we'll see. It's only two rounds in. We still got a lot of time here to uh, see what the party astronauts have cooking. Four M4s and the FAMAS available to them in this round. And they're going to send three players to defend here on A. This is actually not that bad of a setup because RG are sending four in the direction of mid. This is a cheeky smoke. Just like a little, little too deep, which gives you windows around the edge, which NRG were clearly looking for. And now they're just gonna mop up the site defense. They walk into the stack, four players here, and they are demolishing them. OG Wizard gonna give himself some space to survive, but that'll just set up the save. 1v4, he's thinking about what route he can even possibly take here to stay alive. 
that was domination from NRG. Wow. The flashbang catches the porch player, but it's just the, the defense towards CT just melts away. Well, I mean, one thing for NRG, by not qualifying to all of those LAN events, they had a lot of time to practice. That's <laughs> Get true. Get ready for this, right? So they got to they gotta show them. They got to prove themselves. This is, they know that this is a, a really big opportunity for them, and they don't want to waste it. And right there, that was wild. Like, the way they entered from mid to, uh, to lane was insane. They dominated everyone that was in their path. It wasn't really even close at any point in time. And that was the Party Astronauts' first full buy-up, even though it didn't really look like it. And now they're back to pistols. Well done from NRG. And I was saying before, Mike, I don't know what NRG we're going to get here tonight. Maybe we're going to get the one that impresses us. It would be nice to see. Another context for both these teams. Neither team has a spot yet. Again, Which, yeah, that's another thing. That's a tough one. It means that, you know, your season is capped in terms of what you can do. So getting this Pro League spot gives you a bright, shining possibility going into next season. Gives you something to look forward to when, you know, missing out on that opportunity to compete for the Major really does uh, hamper what you were hoping for. Absolutely. It's going to be, it's tough for energy on multiple levels. And yeah, I'm glad you brought up the armor because it's another unfortunate thing where I felt like they absolutely should have qualified for it and, and ended up losing. So, I mean, great for other teams, but, you know, NRG are the ones that felt like they put themselves in a position at the time anyway to qualify and whoever would be in their way, but it didn't happen. So, well, Hopefully it's a tough one. Sake, they'll, they'll make it here. Yeah, absolutely an unforgiving counter-strike world we find ourselves in and i think that's the reality that nrg have realized for themselves you got to get those breakthroughs and uh next year's gonna get even crazier mike with the changes to the tour right yeah but then there's more opportunities at least yeah everyone can't play everything they'll go insane <laughs> this is my plea actually i'm just gonna take this moment please don't try and play everything <laughs> you will go insane there is so much counter-strike next year Expansion of the major as well for 32 teams. That's the news of the day here, John. Yeah, that's good. But no RMRs, of course. So that's, a, you know, positive and negative coming through, I would say. As Nitro's going to mop up here. Should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, Nitro. But, uh, oh, nice shot from Infinite. Overheat just a little bit there, Nitro. Trying to get the anti-eco ace like a true IGL. <laughs> Hunting those pistols. Got to get them while you can, John. It's important. Absolutely. Keep those stats up. <laughs> I know um, yep. the, the 2.1 update for HLTV uh, punishes saving a lot harder, which I love, personally. It's like the anti-jame. <laughs> uh, Anti-blame F. Um, oh, blame F, yeah. Big fan of it. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's... I don't know if they've changed the weighting of eeks. I haven't quite dug in just yet. Yeah, that would be... I think that would be good if they did. I, 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 I think that's... I don't bad. know if that's something that's... Okay, nice shot from Ozzy. He blinded it up. Still believes OG Wizard. He wanted that early fight. And now Ben Leet's going to have to pick the off, off, off of Carr. As OG Wizard, his promising youngster, has just been left a smear on the wall. But uh, I think that one's a much tougher to scrape from server data. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In terms of like what the economic value your opponent is holding. I mean, I mean we have it already. Thing. It's just, I think it's a matter of like actually extrapolating all the data, right? Mm hmm. Uh, certainly, if they find a way, or if they have found a way, it's, it's definitely a good thing. Not to say that anti ecos can't be challenging. Yeah, um, but if um, all your kills are eeks, I know. Yeah, um, then, yeah. I think uh, Nero's put some graphics out about who does better versus full buys versus not. Nice flashbang. We, yeah. Nice race car we gotta give to that flash. Automatic. Making those kills look, as his name would suggest. And peeping? Okay, at least Infinite could trade it out. Was Peeping asleep at the wheel there? I just think he got caught off guard. Yeah, he looks a little bit uh, asleep at the wheel in general so far, unfortunately for him and the party astronauts. And he's one of those players that has performed quite well for them since being added, which was expected because he was solid on the Timberman. But uh, so far, to open up the playoffs, it hasn't been that great. Nitro finds where Fang is, and Fang gets one end? Really? Fang oh gets both those kills? Okay. 
Well, OC and Automatic need to be a little more cautious, perhaps, or are they just going to chase? I guess they have the money. Yeah, the money is, is plentiful. If they can take Fang's gun out, it's well worth the chase. They're not worried about the round. They stuck around just a minute to make sure that there wasn't suddenly someone racing up an Anna thinking, oh, this round's back on. But as it is, it's nice for Fang to be able to hold on to his gun. It's not going to be a tragedy in the NRG camp. No, not at all. I mean, you got a 5 to nothing lead. Things are really favoring you in the early rounds and the mid-rounds. The only time where they're losing bodies are when they're chasing against the players that are saving on the party astronauts. So NRG have nothing to be upset about. And the party astronauts need this time out to talk things over and figure out what adjustments need to be made. Like you mentioned, Peeping just got caught with his pants down in that previous round. And I mean, like, the, I mean, if it does get the trade, but it's just... They're already trying to save in that situation, so it's kind of a moot point anyway. This is a tough one. Half investment in. You got some utility saved through on Infinite and Fang. It is tough. It's very tough to play uh, an Inferno yeah. CT side, especially when you don't have the nades. So I appreciate the fact that they're not chasing this, that they're going to try and get a very healthy buy in the next. And actually, the emphasis from Ben Lee on that util means that they've got a chance to maybe show a little more than NRG yeah. are necessarily expecting. This actually isn't that bad of a buy for the party astronauts, and they're also managing their economy as well. You have the two safe rifles, two MP9s, P250. This could get a little dicey for NRG mm. if they're not careful. I think this first kill, this fight on the thing is so important. Nice shots from Automatic. Great entry. Nice pathing there. You can tell. I mean, Party Arsenal's trying to get back in. That's one rifle. They've got the second rifle at hand. They wanted to put the position of strength here at top B. Oh, and now they've lost both of them. Jeez. They've lost both of them. Ben Lee can retrieve a gun, but he's not got armor. And this is really a catastrophic start here. Knowing those names, seeing those names, right? NRG is going to know both those rifles were on towards B. So now they're sniffing in A. They're seeing if they can find something. Seeing what arrest is the A bomb site. Very confident, very calm so far from NRG. Those entries have been brutal for PA to deal with. Jeez, one more. One. Pulled off of the server. John, this one's looking pretty dire. Yeah, this is not great for PA. They're already on for a save, and they don't even know where the bomb's going to be planted at this point. Uh, Peeping and Ben Lead are trying to get to the same bomb site, but I mean, there are bodies gun everywhere. Name. The DC9 is titled Broke Boys. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Which they won't be after this round, but uh, they're broke in the count that matters. Round wins. Yeah. It's a big goose egg that's going to stay on the board. And again, oh man, Ben Lee not even going to be able to save the rifle. He gets blindsided by Breeze. What I was going to say is, I, again, they didn't show much in the early round, and they get no guns out of this round as well. Even though, like you mentioned, they're going to have money into this next one, they need to get a stop. They need to get an opening frag, at the very least, to, to put some doubts in NRG's minds because so far they're just sailing along with full confidence. And look at this Breeze engaging with OG Wizard. A bit of an advantage perhaps. He's holding the angle, but I mean, it just feels like everything is going his way uh, along yeah. with the rest of the squad. I mean, you've seen the, the the early idea for NRG has been like quick pressure top banana. Yeah. Just sort of the quintessential Inferno I mean, playbook. Inferno. Yeah. And PA haven't been able to shut that down. And then, I mean, it's been largely uh, those hunts towards A were just kind of Breeze doing his thing. Which uh, they will happily take that. OC has now found an opener once more. He's done a great job of delivering these entries with that big. Oh, oh the flashbangs are lethal. Peeping not prepared at all. And this one is over. Unless OG Wizard can make some magic happen. Better find that OG spellbook. No, and no, he's going to back away. The A defenders are gone. They've destroyed both with barely a chance to shoot back. And PA are immediately on their heels. A couple of things there. One, monster flashbang. <laughs> yeah. Through mid. I mean, they're just walking through it. Party astronauts had no ability to recover. And then energy just cleaned them out easily. Secondly, OC is playing like the OC of old. And he's a player I've kind of criticized on a few occasions, saying that he's not necessarily performing at the level that his team needs him to. And right here, nine and one. And he has, I think, at least three openers mm. found um, with the AWP. And that might have been a row. Anyway, look, that is very, very promising for NRG. It is indeed. 
It is indeed OG Wizard lives. <laughs> this is greatest trick of all. Uh, but we've now seen two rounds, at least two rounds, where um, basically the A site defense has gotten completely unraveled by that Crumble. one flashbang yeah. into the right side. Yeah. Where a player was just standing out in the open, eats that full flash, and is just dead to right. So, need to see an adjustment there. They've got the utility for it now, right? There's no longer... Yeah, maybe it's not perfect. Bentley loved to have an M4. But this is now where we have to see your defense. We have to see that it has some teeth to it. Could have seen the aggression in towards Banana. Not going to have that. Three players moved over towards A instead. And NRG actually oh, giving them a bit of space. Here we go. Okay. All right. Automatic tries to get that control top. Banana, this time he's denied. I mean, it's the first opening frag, I think, for the party of astronauts in a gun round, so that's a good sign. Still not over yet. I and think it NRG might be their first the opening on. frag since the pistol. You might be right. You might be right. Yeah, that's uh, insane that it's been that long, but NRG have really been that dominant, dominant in their opening fights. And one thing I have to credit RNG for as well is they've adjusted their style a little bit, it seems, here on Inferno, because they used to be much slower mm. in the way they approach the rounds, but this time Nitro is saying, look, we got to send it, we got to be more aggressive, adjust to the Counter-Strike 2 mechanics, which reward you for being aggressive, more often than not. And we will have... NRG, I mean, looking strong overall. Now they're going to slow it down, which makes sense because they lost the first player. And they're trying to decide where they want to go. Peeping, Infinite, and OG Wizard waiting on this A site to greet whoever may come their way. So I feel like Party Astronauts have exactly what they want here to win the round. Will they win the duels? There's the first from OG Wizard. And Infinite hoping for the follow-up. Smoke tossed. He's going to push through that smoke. Is it the right move? I don't know. He's taking a lot of damage. Now he's dead. Trades come back, though. It looks like the party astronauts should be able to hold on to this site, and they will. Peeping the last frag, and first on the board, finally, Mike, for PA. Yeah, that works out the way. That's the way PA's been drawing it up, right? That's the way they were hoping for it. Alt takes first contact, gets the shot, drops the smoke. Infinite just plays up on the smoke. He's not, he's kind of stuck. He gets, he gets spotted, yeah. basically, as he slinks into the smoke. But the confusion over trying to pinch him then sets up his teammates. They, I think, weren't expecting the third player. They, they thought it was a double fight for short. And instead, that player on balcony catches them off guard. It works out. It's very nice for PA. It's amazing what will happen when you're in a 5v4 versus the other way around. <laughs> it makes life it so much easier. Okay, OG Wizard. Hold on. Get frisky here. This is why he's our player to watch. This is why we wanted to see him. How he's far does he take it? I mean, he's definitely a dynamic opter. I think he's just going to hold this, though. I'm pretty sure he's not going to step much further. He just wants to get that opening shot. Oh, he knows no. Hex is here. Oh, what no. does he turn? There it is. <laughs> there it is. Hex had no idea there was a player on the steps. So we've again got an opening pick here for PA. All right. Another good sign for them. NRG's had a ton of success towards the B site. Let's see if they try it again. It looks to be the plan, because Breeze is falling off alt mid, and uh, 55 seconds left, Nitro's already lining up his smokes and his flashes, and he's deciding to throw the flash first to try and give Automatic and OC a chance to get an opener here in towards the B site. Uh, smoke will lock off peeping, assuming that energy decides to throw it, but yeah, they're just waiting for Breeze to arrive. Now he's here. Here comes the execute. He decides to take this dry on contact, and they will. Automatic takes a little bit of damage, but manages to escape, and there is the first found from Breeze. That's a good start. Here comes the smoke for CT. That isolates Ben over at New Box. Flash to set up Ben, try and get him a fight. He needs one. He needs one. He's just trying to stay alive, trying to buy time for his team, but eventually, yeah, there's just too many bullets downrange. Can't survive there. Peeping, playing ahead of his teammates, trying to get something. Doesn't anticipate the player up on coffins. It all falls apart. To the B defense, we're back to it. Can't hold. Raise massive round for the man. Oh. And, okay, a couple parting shots for Infinite. Yeah, it's a little late to be getting back into this, and Breeze will demonstrate why. Four in the round, three that were real impact frags as well. And that is NRG immediately styming Party Astronauts, despite once again giving up the opening pick.
Yeah, that was a great recovery, honestly. A good adjustment. And uh, again, you know, a pretty quick execute afterwards. There's still 55 seconds left on the clock. Energy go for it towards the B site. And everything was perfect. They have managed to isolate one fight. They get that first first one, obviously, um, towards dark. And then afterwards, isolate Ben on the site. And that was the key because Ben had absolutely zero support. And that's when energy just explode onto the site and take care of the business. So well done from them. And if I'm party astronauts, I'm feeling pretty worried right now because Breeze is looking absolutely crispy and OC is as well. Not to mention you still have the threat of Hex in the back of your minds. Yes, his uh, most of his frags came in that pistol round, but still he is an extremely impactful fragger that could explode at any moment too. So NRG are looking like pretty scary customers right now. Mm. Explosive indeed. Let's see if PA have any of their Diffusal gear. Because I might need it. Big old giant marshmallow man suit, you know? Hurt locker style. I'm trying to picture Ben Lee in that. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think he could rock it. It's the newest style. Perhaps so. That's Fang's yeah. next game day fit. Hurt Locker outfit. OC! He's gonna try and fit some of them into the barrel of his gun. Only the one! Around for the second, but Fang lost, traded one for one, and now boom! There goes the ace side defense. So even though they trade out the opera, the response is immediate from NRG flowing out of the balcony and directions to look for PA. Effective trading, effective spacing, and effectively a ninth round. Yeah, this is uh, starting, unfortunately, for the party astronauts to look like that previous BO3 that they faced off against uh, NRG on, where they lost 9 to 13 on Mirage and 3 to 13 on Ancient. Mm. In fact, worse <laughs> than those two maps combined, I would say. This is not. The rosiest picture that's being painted. They are going to go for the eco here and carry the guns over him, but yeah, there's not much that we can say that's good for the party astronaut. So, I feel like Breeze was trying to hit a rhythm there. Yeah. The rhythmic tap. One, two, three, tap. Did you ever do that? Tap out a beat? The spray. Yeah, do some songs sometimes. Mm. Just holding an angle. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Depends on how well the game is going. Right? <laughs> if That's really why you buy like the M249 yeah. is so you have enough bullets to do like the full Super Mario theme. <laughs> dun, the only dun, reason why the M249. It's a. Uh, oh my god. M249 is elite, man. No, stop it. It's terrible. It's like the, the real reason down. you buy the M249 is because it has the best sound effect when you drop it in CS2. They give it a really... It sounds like a box of springs being thrown down. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it does. The Negev, too. Uh, the same kind of effect. So, yeah, that is the, the one reason why you might want to get it. But other than First that, bullet accuracy like... on the M249 is great, man. I, it, it is, but I feel like it's more love from Valve. Like, a buff of some kind. Of like Let me dual wield the Valve. Let me run that, in yeah, a Kimbo that, with M249s. That's not completely insane, but sure. <laughs> oh, OG Wizard, he spotted a hand. He spotted some fingies. Boosted up here, aching, begging for a peek. And in the meantime, Fang's trying to push them his direction, gets that peek, gets that opportunity, but no, he can't capitalize. In the meantime, Nitro. Has just swept away the B defense. They've got full control of this site. Even will try and deny it, but he's got no utility to slow them down. And I mean, Breeze is even just here in the balcony in case they need a bailout option. I'll give them the spoilers, though. I don't think they do. Peeping. Let's see what you got. Flashbang to push them off. And Nitro to put one right between the eyes. After doing it himself. That's another relatively clean round here for NRG. Well, this is looking very one-sided at this point. Beautiful round, of course, uh, again, from NRG. Uh, I like the way they're playing towards Banana. 
Fang, uh, he's just getting bullied a little bit. Honestly, I, I appreciate the idea of trying to get aggressive round after round and get that banana control, which you, you kind of have to on CT side, but it feels like they're more limited in terms of utility. Uh, Fang is getting a frag here and there, but mostly just getting either traded out or completely battered by NRG's volley of utility and bullets. So one time that I saw a little success for PA was when they put three players towards Banana, and this time they're going to try that again, and they're getting extremely aggressive. Look, they have Banana control. Fantastic. You know, throw the deep smoke, get them all top out, and now Fang can just hold here at the bottom of Banana so you have some map control to kind of dictate the flow of play a little bit more. Oh, no, but Breeze, oh, you got to stop it, man. Every time Stop him for no one. Stop him for no one. Oh, Headshots, man. haircuts. Breeze's barbershop is open for business. And well, it's a barbershop quartet right now because everyone's having to get involved. Down to Ben Lee. Look, he's got a 1v2. This is NRG's uh, softest setup in a long time. PA, they got a chance. They got a chance to get a second chance. round here to take something into the half, Ben Lee. What kind of magic you got for us? That tea smoke actually gives him a little bit of carpet gain here. And, well, Hex was, was prepared for that carpet. <laughs> Not happening! We'll be back! We are back for the moment. It could be very brief, folks, but we're with you. We're here together in this moment. NRG up 11-1 on Party Astronauts map pick. And so for PA, the alarm bells are sounding. Well, without question. Uh, I mean, uh, it's the quintess quintessential, yeah, must-win pistol for the <laughs> Party Astronauts. 
and uh, it's just not looking great at all. I think mechanically NRG have been absolutely and totally superior. I think that's evident from the scoreline, but Breeze, he's been a revelation for this roster since he joined up, and I think that despite their inconsistencies in terms of winning maps, he's been that one player that hasn't been inconsistent. It's just been lethal mapping and map up, but now he's got OC supporting, Nitro looking good, which is something that he tends to do too, which we didn't expect. Anyway, let's see if they can close it out quickly or if the party astronauts have something left in the gas tank to get themselves back into it has definitely been nice to see the breezy reclamation project work out yeah right a guy who was at one point the most promising north america player we had and then just kind of wasted away in the wilds of ag for a while and well it's good to see that that stone cold killer we know is there mm. and on the server once again oh boy Rough spot for Breezy. Yeah, you gave up all that control towards short, and then you get caught trying to reposition in Graveyard. Nitro, at least, will keep the numbers even, but he just wants to pinch this player in towards mid, allow his teammates to get in for the retake. That was a bit of a curious setup from NRG, and they do get punished for it. Numbers oh, yeah. with them. Time expiring, though. They don't have kids, John. This is going to be a bit of an issue here. For PA, it's all about the stall. It's all about the stall. Kills definitely help with the stall. Lots of kills certainly do so. Nitro now just fighting against the world because he might get the ace, but he will not get oh. this round. Just if a kit was there. Yeah, kit was there. But I won it. Wow, nice work from Nitro again. That's uh, almost his second ace. It's his first one. We had the anti-eco one that almost came through in the first half, and right there pulls it off in the pistol round, but it's the most disheartening of aces to find. It's in a losing effort as the party astronauts do take their second round. Still, I would say that doesn't feel... It's not a good way to win, I would say, for the yeah. party astronauts. Well, so here's the thing. Yeah. That was a really weird A setup. Um, yes. They I don't stuck, know they it stuck in really nicely. Miscommunication or what it was. But Nitro was pushing apps. Mm. Um, and Breeze was holding long. And then he just kind of came yeeting back into the graveyard without realizing that, oh, wait, they're all over the site already. Uh, maybe would have been better if he had stayed out towards long. I don't know exactly what was going on there. But clearly something was unexpected there for Breezy. And so yeah. you do have this situation where the pistol gets away from them. It was just a gap in the defense that PA exploited with some slow play. And you're right. I mean, Breeze, not in the best of positions. I think going into Graveyard had no visibility towards mm -hmm. lane. And, you know, the result is quite clear. Party astronauts gain the site and don't really have much of a challenge in doing so. Energy, they're going to force up here. Infinite's got the right idea. Oh, but uh -oh. Nitro was waiting over at... Uh, that's another gun. Oh, over a boiler, and he's got the rifle, and he manages to get the frag to infinite. And this read. Right, Breeze gets the upgrade. They've got some stall out utility. They gotta go through. Oh, but no, Hex, no, Hex with a 5 7 coming out the smoke. You just don't want to do that with a 5 7 on the other side. Beautiful play from Hex. Choose him up, spit some out. NRG <laughs> find map point. It starts with a rifle. And then the insta read from NRG is okay. They know the rifle's on A. They don't want to go there. Get ready on B, and Hex is more than capable. A Hex uh, deserves a card at the end of the game, Pistol God, because he's got seven of his 11 frags with pistols. <laughs> One in the pistol round at the beginning of this match, and then two, that's in the in the anti, I mean, it wasn't anti, it was a force buy coming through from NRG. 5-7, it's scary, especially at close range, and you can see exactly why with 20 rounds available to you. Unfortunately for the party astronauts, now that pistol round victory feels very uh, much like a moot point. 12 to 2, 10 opportunities for NRG to close this out. Breeze going to throw the incendiary down at the ground. Okay, through the wall, Breeze mm. gets dinked down to 61. So he's going to fall off that and say, no, it's, no, thank you. Imagine that was from the Deagle of Infinite as well. Don't know if a Tech 9 would quite do that much to the no, bricks. So uh, that's, a, that's a bit of an ouchie. So they do have the three-man setup here. So we're hoping for the long aggression. Oh, look at this. PA have done enough to sell it. They pulled the fourth man off. Automatic shifting around, but now not seeing anything. When do NRG realize that they've been had? Uh -oh. Bamboozled. Taken for a ride. Hex trying to get the utility down. They're already past it, but 
He's capable with the shoot and gonna need to do some more of it. Flashbang to set him up. Goes to the side arm. Can't quite survive, but he has to hold it out nicely. But Fang gone. It's advantage NRG in this retake. Who cares about the bomb plant? Just win the round, Nitro says, and he will wow. do it all. OC with the finishing blow. It is NRG on top. 13 to utter domination here, John, in the first map. Well, yeah, I mean, it feels like their feet are on fire right now, and they have a point to prove, which they absolutely do. So, and uh, very effectively done here in this first map. 13 to 2 domination. I mean, DA thought they had a win to breathe, right? They threw the smokes down. You know, they got the bomb planted, but Nitro's pushing through it. They're not giving them any room at all to no. get comfortable. So well done from NRG by keeping the pressure on for the entirety of this map. Very aggressive as well. Yeah. Seems to be the case. And uh, reminder as well, as we hop into the game, this is the upper bracket, so they may get another chance to be punished on Ancient for Party Astronauts <laughs> if they can't figure it out here. Um, there will be a lower bracket for whichever team winds up going there. Uh, specifically, I think they'll be on the side of the bracket with... Ooh, I don't know if we know, actually, which side of the bracket they'll be on. I'm not sure exactly how that's calculated. I think it depends on the seed of which teams gets knocked down. Um, but... As it stands, we're into the fray. We're into the ancient. We need to see some more juice from the party astronauts. This map on the CT side is all about dynamic space taking. That is something that they did not get a whole lot of on Inferno. Need to see a whole lot more of it. Infinite popping off some shots, little bits of damage, but no headies just yet. And NRG don't actually have interest in taking the space that he's afforded them in towards Donut. They want Red Room instead. Dead. And here comes the pressure. Here comes the punish. Ben Lee down on the dirt. They're taking this towards B and Peeping is in trouble. Fang has gone far afield. And that's exactly what NRG were counting on. Oh, oh, a bit of a bungle from Hex. He did the damage, but it is up to his teammates to find the kill. Still, with OC all the way on the other side of the map for them to deal with. This is not a fun time for PA. Fang is withdrawing, waiting for OC, waiting to get this punish, but because OC's riding through red, it's not going to matter. Fang won't encounter him, and instead, his teammates are getting pinched. Okay, at least he'll keep them off his teammates for a moment, but now his teammates are gone. And this is a save, I guess. Or just to try and get one more kill. That kill will not be presented. Tough. Honestly, <laughs> that's just a tough go there for the party astronauts. One surprising moment with uh, Hex kind of whiffing over on peeping into cave, but outside of that, NRG had full control. They found that B site, got the bomb planted. It was uh, business as usual for them, quite honestly, as we go into round number two. And you talked about dynamic play being required, aggressive play on Ancient on both sides, I would say, but definitely on CT side with that mid control. I think in general, so far from what I've seen from NRG, they've made an adjustment to their play style. I talked a little bit about it on that first map, but Nitro's calling for some more aggressive plays. He's getting into the faces of his opponents, and that slow style that we've seen time and time again might be a lot less frequent. And then there's X lining it up through the panel, finding Bang. That's a wicked lineup, and he set it you up know, for himself. I saw uh, JL rocking that lineup a lot recently. Trying to find a player it's on the a great corner, one, honestly. So I wonder, I wonder where the origin of that one is, but it is a fun one, right onto the, right onto the corner back there. Yep, towards Lumpy. Yeah, spicy. Easier when they don't have armor, certainly, but uh, definitely one you got to be wary of. I was attempting angle to hold. Okay. So remember, <laughs> folks, learn that lineup, and you can deploy it in your matchmaking games and get called a cheater. <laughs> And also probably not kill anyone. <laughs> Ooh, I bet you do. I bet you get someone it once depends. in a round and they call you a cheater for the rest of the match. More than likely. <laughs> but honestly, it's not always... It depends on the level you're playing. Because some teams are, I should say, you know, some uh, matches will have people all over the bomb site and they won't really hold the common angles. I think you're relying on a team that's actually had some structure in it. Sure. up against, right? But still, uh, agreed. It is a very good lineup. No questions asked. Speaking of structure, NRG are yes. building a nice structure here. Automatic on the edge of the smoke. Good flashbang again. Lethal, but this time they can trade it out. Even Fang, he's burning. He's He's burning, is, and now down wow. from the window, they slam it shut in his little fingers. Three players dead in towards mid, and NRG are reading this as a potentially vacant A bomb site. They're correct. 
Though Ben Leeton has come back to adjust and as NRG shift in towards mid, they'll keep their options open for the moment. Ben's going to give this a look. He can give them a fight. And that's both players on and wow. both players gone. That's a team ace. That is, and it's beautiful pacing from NRG, right? Uh, immediately retaking fights, going for trades time and time again towards mid and winning on every single turn. Then they decide to slow it up, wait for the party astronauts, say, okay, we're going to wait at mid to see if they decide to come and re-clear this. They do, and they've got two crosshairs staring right into Red Room to deliver the finishing blow. Three to nothing for NRG, and again, that buy round did not look very convincing for the party astronauts. They've got the pistols coming through here, and what is effectively an anti-eco for NRG. Nice nade toss, at least doing some damage, but the first frag goes NRG's way once more, and this one should be a non-starter, unless NRG decides to devote themselves towards the getting pinched in right now there's one for peeping but a quick trade comes through to try and settle things down and that should do the trick as well as we have a 4v2 for nrg i mean after the way inferno ended you almost feel like karmic justice would be party astronauts getting a 5-7 shenanigans around back their way mm -hmm. but it's not gonna happen here there is no karmic justice in the world john we're all just floating on a rock in space that's what party astronauts right now an infinite staring into the infinite void of uh another rough start to a map we'll be thinking all kinds of thoughts mm -hmm. Ooh, well, oh, oh! no thoughts just vibes john <laughs> no thoughts just vibes <laughs> and that's a third shot hit for infinite oh my goodness it's not from the barrel of a five seven but the Deagle will serve just as well. One more to find. Same angle for the fight. One shot Come to on. pop. But Hex on the other side already finding damage. An adjustment behind the box. New magazine in. Seven more shots at this. He's crazy. Hex painted into a corner. Here it goes. And Hex is out of there. No, he's going B. He doesn't want to tango with this. He's this gonna is going to force bad, them though. into a retake. That does give a gun over to Infinite. This is getting real spicy. Just enough time for that bomb plant. But Infinite is going to get right back into the fray. He's already found magic out of the barrel of this deagle. And now he's got the element of surprise. Hex doesn't know his avenue of approach. And as Hex goes to the cave, here's Infinite to meet him. The four piece put together. All headshots, baby, for Infinite. What? That is absolutely ludicrous. He was out of the round and he just gets three ridiculous. Ridiculous peaks, and it's not like NRG were necessarily giving him 1v1s. They were all going out as a unit. Infinite was isolating the fights by himself by hitting rippers one after the other with the Deagle. Absolutely insane individual play. That wins the round. Right. Nothing else from PA Mike. Oh. What the heck? Oh. Look at this. That's how you shot his actually filth. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how the Deagle should look. That's disgusting, Infinite. That might be the best round in this season of ESL Challenger League. It might be. And at a good time in the playoffs. <laughs> Desperately needed. Desperate. If there was ever... And here we go. He's right back to winning ways. Uh, Fang a little oh, focused in, what? but OC's going to burn. So it's advantage party astronauts. The mid fight has worked out in their favor. Problem is OG Wizard out of space. And oh my goodness, Nitro has gotten so far forward. OG able to find his teammate, though. And that'll pull Nitro back because now he's got to plant the bomb. So that kill's got a knock-on effect. Breeze just a little too wide on it. And Nitro a chance at a clutch of his own. Peeping at Ben Lean on the other side. They're both playing the CT. And Nitro back turn. He doesn't know. He's not prepared. Tried to call their angle of approach. And that means we got two in a row for PA. Wow, I mean, this was looking like a done deal, right? <laughs> we were already painting a pretty grim picture for the party astronauts, and Infinite has infused life into his squad with that 4K, and he kicked it off here, like you mentioned, with the opening frag. NRG really couldn't get the advantage going back and forth in those trades, and that's a second for the party astronauts. Uh, another thing I want to talk about, going back a couple of rounds, is Hex's decision to go back to that B site, because... At that moment, the only thing you had to fear was the Deagle, which uh, admittedly was quite uh, the fearsome foe given the way Infinite was wielding it. But still, 
you don't have to think about a rifle, so you can continue to take that fight. And he did connect on a few shots, but instead he falls off the site and gives Infinite even more firepower to work with. And that honestly felt like a mistake at that moment. Anyway, let's get back to it here. Oh, he's walking through the Molotov. He is punished. This is now looking very poor for NRG. Party astronauts have new life. Yeah, talk about a momentum swing. Just life injected into them. Now they're in the face of their opponent. They're running it down, making sure there's no chance to get set up for NRG. This is what you love to see. Now you got the utility to put behind it as well. You can feel confident. You can feel free in your swings and peaks. And ooh, okay. All right, party astronauts are back, baby. They've already matched their round total from their last go around with NRG on this map. Wow, they're they're a pretty streaky team, honestly. At times, the party astronauts and. Well, we're seeing one here. NRG are going to be relegated down to pistols. And if there was ever a time where we would need to see some of that signature Nitro slow pace calling, then I think it would be here. Because NRG, honestly, have been a little overwhelmed in these last three rounds when trying to take the early space. And here, they are going to slow it up, at least for a moment, sending four players out towards the outside of B ramp. But there goes the nade, and X is already looking for peaks. That Deagle, he wants to match what Infinite did a couple of rounds ago. Hmm. There's a flashbang toss by Ben, and he's wide in the wide out in the open. Waiting out that initial utility, not giving away much. The only real information for PA is that there's no presence in mid. OG Wizard making sure of that. First swing in towards cave. Nitro alone. Hex though connects. That pulls peeping back. That allows his opponents space in towards cave. Peeping. Oh, it's a dangerous repeak. That's dangerous to go right back. Fang's in trouble now. His teammates are on the way, but he's got a stall. Doesn't want to allow the bomb to be planted. And OG Wizard will guarantee that. It gets close, but Fang, 1 HP, survives. It's a little dicey, and you have to imagine the confidence is very fragile right now for the party astronauts. So one round that might be more dominant for NRG could spell disaster, especially when just the pistols are out. But they do handle it fairly well there, despite, like you said, an extremely dangerous his feet coming through from peeping he gets punished for it but fang is there to save the day and the party astronauts have their first lead of the series here four to three against nrg thanks to infinite honestly um and that clutch that he pulled off because without that we're probably looking at seven to nothing for NRG, without question in my mind that was something else and let's see what happens here because all of that momentum could quickly fall away if nrg find their game once more A little bit of util being expended here towards the B site. Still plenty left in the tank, and one thing that hasn't really been explored that much from NRG here over the last few rounds is that A site. Lean towards B, time and time again. They're hoping that party astronauts get a little aggressive, but they're not. It's pretty passive mid-hold from PA, honestly. Yeah, very much so. No forward ground, right? They've still got all their Molotovs, which so often you see teams just bomb those down to try and take those early spaces. Yeah. It does mean that, I mean, in this cave fight, Ben Lee's able to slow it down a little bit. We haven't really seen... Okay, there it is. A little disjointed. The flashbang came in too late. So Automatic's caught out in the open. He's down for the count. Now man advantage Ooh, on for P8. They're great. making a heavy gamble. That it's not coming towards A without that mid control. They're wrong about that. Yeah. So when do they get rumbled? NRG are leaving this so late. You can't really blame Party Astronauts for thinking this has got to be B. Still, doesn't mean Fang's got his hands full. The cavalry is coming. Oh, and they've completely missed Fang. Completely missed Fang. Back turn. He's got a chance to set this one up. Drop the bomb on down. Might have done it just on time. They're trying to plant Nitro two kills, and he's giving them the space. Rounds back on. This kill is huge, and Breeze got it. He's got to get it, no. and he gets it. He no. It all through the smoke. No. Look at the health now. 19 points of it, but you still got to hit the shots. Headshots could be enough, and there they certainly are. OC looking snappy on it against the off. The health doesn't matter anymore. OG Wizard got to go to that sidearm, but he's keeping out the big green. He's running out of time. 
He doesn't fancy this. He's not taking the fight. He's just trying to stay alive now. He's trying to find the space. He's trying to get away, and OC will not be permitting it. I'm not sure why Nitro didn't get the flash assist there on the on the UI, because that was a beautiful flashbang to set up OC for the peak. Either way, um, yeah, <laughs> Party Ashnauts made it close, honestly, but NRG just burned on back into that round thanks to Nitro's two kills that he finds in desperate situation to get that bomb planted with only, I think, two seconds left on the clock when they actually get it down to dirt. And now we've got a tied scoreline again. Party Astronauts uh, not too shabby in that round, so it will be a confident bunch. I did like the way they played it in the mid-round by pushing down and exploding into mid and catching NRG a little off guard, but then that gamble towards B was the problem. That's what really put them into a tough spot. We've got more trades coming through, and it will favor the party astronauts once more as they've got more bodies available here for the time being. But A site has been exploited. No one's home. OG Wizard needs to hit a shot if he even has visibility. We'll see if a smoke gets thrown. Actually, they don't have any left. There's going to be flashbangs and Molotovs, and they just plant in that corner where OG Wizard has no ability to see where it's being planted. Mm. Really self boost up on the tree. Right, the numbers. I mean, Nitro. Gets the first, he is traded out. A little bit of an awkward engagement still. No utility for this, but the guns we know are mighty on OC and Breeze. First mighty gun is gone. And second one will find home. They're swinging off it. It's all about time and OC! <laughs> it's all about headshots, baby! What? OC, that's nuts! Oh man, we're getting some crazy plays here on Ancient. Uh, first from Infinite on the A side, and now on the other side for NRG. OC delivers 1v3. They just overlooked Big Box entirely. Infinite was caught reloading in that situation afterwards. OG Wizard with the op just holding the angle, can't do anything. They have to abandon the bomb defusal, and NRG get around back with a heroic effort the individual side coming through from oc and i mean look now the party astronauts might have lost the momentum entirely here they're stacking the b side which is the right side to be on here as everyone's coming this direction it just doesn't matter because they only have pistols oh gee wizard gets a couple here but that's all he'll find and nrg get a sixth that steamroll's picking back up steam which I, I guess is what a steamroller does. Yeah. Pretty apt description of it, Mike. Sort of by definition, right? Yeah. Well, I have that full head back on. There is weaponry out here for Party Astronauts. Two rounds left in the half. Not a lot of time to try and reclaim this. The magic that Infinite gave them, the chance that he gave them in this map. It's wander it now. Pressure up the B ramp. This is very straightforward. John and Fang and Peeping. Well, everyone's going to get a piece of it. They're finding it all, but Nitro. This dude has been lethal. There's no way. How are they? How did you get in these rounds? Okay, there we go. Nitro is finally going to fall. That's the bomb at the feet of the party astronauts. Maybe automatic still has a chance here. I mean, Peeping's low, but he needs headshots. And only headshots. There's a lot of time to still cook here. There is. There is. Oh, Whoa. Bot swinging right into OG Wizard's crosshair. Automatic. The idea there is basically to leave enough time in that they think he's rotated either through sight or back through spawn. So they're not looking at the place that he exited through for Donut. But OG Wizard is wise to his tricks. Yeah, and I mean, NRG surprisingly full sending it on pretty much contact towards that B ramp, and it doesn't work for them at all. Party astronauts shut them down completely. Aside from Nitro's ridiculous 2K, he is a very good rifler. Guys, mm. don't forget that. He's still very effective at finding those frags. But uh, I'm not sure about the call in that round. Star player back in the day before he made the swap to in-game leader for this team. He was the star on that liquid roster. Man advantage for NRG as they look to tack on the advantage here. And Ben Lee in the smoke. I have one chance on that fade. Here is that chance. He will not be succeeding <laughs> at it. 
Pressure on towards B. I mean, both defenders are here, but they're locked out by utility. This bomb's going down. Retake required, and they've got one smoke to make it happen. A kid, at least, for Fang. Some damage onto OC. Ooh, nearly a kill onto OC. Spam it one more time. Spam it one more time. See what happens. There it is. Okay, OC gone. A lot more work to do, but oh. Fang is doing it. Here's gonna be the stick. Off the spam on the first. Hold them away. Nitro just with the P250. Trying to make sure they're not on that bomb. Good thing they're going to get on it. Automatic trying to get footsteps. And he has pulled them off, but plenty of time still for the defuse. We're tied up into the house. And we are back in here for the second half. All knotted up. All knotted up. It took a bit of a miracle for NRG in that Deagle round. But hey, sometimes... Or sorry, for Party Astronauts. But sometimes you need a miracle. And they do manage to capitalize here, John. Yeah, but can they carry that forward into the second half is another question. So, I, I mean, honestly, I believe too. I told you from the well, beginning that there might have been vulnerabilities here for energy and breeze does get the opener though over on infinite so that will certainly help energy completely falling off after that one because why not that's what you need okay fang does manage to return the favor onto breeze and no damage done otherwise so we've got an even 4v4 and peeping is just storming down here against OC who needs to hit a shot and he does get one but not the second good trades again should yield a bomb plant fang is justifying that pt250 being in his hands right now bomb down now and because Nitro's gone the long way round, it's going to be a minute before NRG can actually get into this retake. They've not got the kit either. 
I don't think one was down on OC. No, he dropped the dualies. So it could be trouble on. Nice shot for Hexed. Looking for more. Nitro now activating that flank. It all falls to Fang. Got two kills. Needs all five now. Trying to keep them off that bomb. And Nitro will not afford him the possibility. So that flank pays off. Pistol round. NRG. Yep. Another pistol round going NRG's way. Nicely done for them. Nitro. Getting some more dually frags here. This time not in vain. In an end, in an ace attempt on that previous, or excuse me, I think it was on Inferno where he had that uh, pistol round ace and didn't win it. Am I crazy? I don't know what I'm saying anymore, Mike, because they only lost one round on, a, on Inferno and it wasn't that one. Whatever, let's focus in here. <laughs> My brain is fried. Uh, as we are going into round number 14, and party astronauts are going to force up here off of that bomb plant. Two Galils, two Mac 10s, and the Tech 9 going to be coming through here. Party astronauts, are they going to go for something fast? Maybe into Jaguar and looking to get cave control? They've already got Jaguar, in fact, this is pretty effective map control early on by PA. A little bit of hesitation here. Quiet moment in the middle of the round. Silence on the battlefield. That rarest of things. But now smoke in towards mid means that they know Breeze is in trouble. Automatic trying to come into support. Fortunately, the A main prong is a little bit more delayed. That gives Breeze a chance to fight and fight he shall. Two found. But Fang follows it up with automatic claimed and oh. now infinite out A main catches OC off guard. Big trouble on now for NRG. Bomb being planted. If Hex can find this kill and donut, the retake is viable. If he goes down, Nitro's out of here. Nitro's out of here. What on earth? <laughs> it felt like NRG had the advantage there and just Fang and OG Wizard come through and just swarm onto that site and winning the aim duels up against NRG squad that for all intents and purposes should have had every advantage into this round. I mean, yes, you have the bomb plan for PA that yields them a couple of rifles, but overall, NRG had the better buy-up, and now, well, they've got their tail between their legs and backing off. We're tied mm. up again at 7-7, seven to seven, and I think all of that mojo, all of that momentum that NRG had coming through from map number one is now officially gone. PA are in this. Perhaps. I think this next round is going to be interesting, because presumably it's going to be an investment. We've seen NRG make yeah. it happen. One rifle and some pistols, man. That's how Inferno ended. In the hands of Nitro as well. This is how Inferno ended. Hex has a 5-7 again. I'm I'm this one I'm curious about. Let's see what we okay. got. I'd imagine. Okay, only the one Molotov. Lots of smokes. Where do they want to get frisky? You gotta pick somewhere. Three players over towards A early on. They're gonna double up in towards Donut, it seems. Set up a little bit of a crossfire there. I don't mind that. Well, they want to get aggressive on the edge of that smoke. But PA clearing into cave, that's not a bad setup. Housewind of 5-7 gets a kill, though. Tell you that much. Automatic chase down by a nade, but still one for one's not the worst thing there. It's going to put some doubts in the minds of PA. The Let's rifle's getting again. active out a main. We've got this doubled up cave setup designed to bait them into hacks. Oh, gets the smoke down, does his job. Do they overlook Hex as a result? Ooh, they're not going to test the smoke. And meanwhile, Nitro's worked his way into the elbow. So he knows exactly where this is coming from now. That means that Automatic can go in, set up flashbangs for his teammates as the hit comes through. It's exactly what he's trying to do. When does Nitro activate? Well, might be a little late now. He's just missed them. OC has to do something with these duelies. Flashbangs. Good kills. Not quite. The 5-7 will be able to follow it up all the while. Nitro creeps closer on this flank. Bombs now being planted. Nitro looking to activate. No one's looking his way. Keeping the victim. Sprays a little wide. And that little bit of hesitation cost them. Fang can clean this up. It got close. NRG, they had the right idea. They put players in position. But they just couldn't quite bring it over the line.
That's just one of those situations where you're so convinced the player's dead that you look away from them for Nitro, and they weren't. There was one more bullet required, so he swung back, and that, this, right there, that's the difference between winning the round and losing it, honestly, because if mm. he gets that one and, and, you know, it's cleaner, then he doesn't have to go back and he can focus on the next player, but it ruins his entire rhythm, and at that point, you know, uh, party astronauts are able to isolate him, and after that, it's just the pistols that are left to clean out. So, well done for PA. They've regained the lead. They're not happy about the way that one went because they lost a lot of bodies. It was an expensive round, but they still have a lot of money left in the tank. So, they're going to call a timeout to talk things over. But overall, there's a lot to celebrate for them. There is indeed. There is indeed. I mean, surviving uh, against what we saw to be a very dangerous round, that one rifle from Nitro. Yeah. I mean, we saw how much impact it could have and frankly you know they're going to be grateful that they didn't walk into that cave setup mm -hmm. utility usage was good to disrupt what nrg wanted to do on that site i think honestly if oc has a 5-7 instead of uh instead of duallys there he probably gets that first kill who oh, knows yeah, what yeah. happens all day for that but the duallys are so weird against armor so a very close one to unraveling for pa but it's all good. Now you can exhale. That's just USPs here. Just USPs. First one found. I like the idea of the swing on in. Breeze will find one, but it is only the one. Ooh, beep, bing. Nearly gets ahead of himself, but it's all good. Four players survive. PA, two in the lead. Life is good in the party astronauts camp. Okay, well, I mean, NRG now, I talked about that three-game losing streak on Ancient. Might be four here if they don't find themselves, but here come the rifles, and I think this is their last, I don't want to say their last chance to get back into it, but definitely one of their last two rounds where things could potentially go back their way because the loss bonus is starting to pile up, so that could help them out, but they need to get going. And prevent PA from getting into double digits. PA, on the other hand. They want to find that map and send us a map for three. Automatic, fully blinded, and so was Fang. And back and forth they go. Everyone's blinded. And it looks like NRG are going to have a big round here. OC and Nitro connect for a couple of frags. Infinite and OG Wizard are the last two standing. They do have bomb control. Mm. That's the good news. And a lot of space potentially to take towards this A site where no one is really present except for Breeze and Donut. This is what they're adjusting for, though, right? You've got Nitro with Vision in towards mid. That means that OC can focus up. He's wary, though. They don't know how far they've gotten out into Temple. Breeze, Breeze is communicating, hey, I'm here now, but I don't know if someone got past me. They didn't, which is very fortunate, but it does mean that OC is not going to have eyes on sight as Breeze takes contact. Fortunately for them, Breeze isn't doing a whole lot of missing right now. Bomb can be planted, but a four-on-one retake. OG Wizard will not be afforded the chance to even attempt it. Yeah, good hold from Breeze, honestly. Like, buy his Lonesome and Donut to get that frag, it makes things a lot easier for his team to close the door on the round. The thing is, for PA, they've got money. They get even more 600 additional added to the bank account thanks to the bomb plan, so things stay healthy in that regard, so they can buy up again, no problem. NRG, on the other hand, money is still a little tight. They do have to reinvest in a couple of players, but that actually is only one player, excuse me. So that actually won't be too bad. So they'll get a little bit of an economic foundation, potentially, as we go into round number 18. This one feels like it's going to go down to the wire. Unless things drastically change in one direction, which I don't know if that's going to happen. The NRG going for that aggressive mid-control that's so quintessential for Ancient. Peeping, goes out, opener, can he get the follow-up? Yes, he can! Two frags for Peeping to give his team an advantage, but it is short-lived as Nitro finds a 2K for himself. Man, Nitro's just putting on the big boy pants for this one. Getting some of the important kills here. Oh, see, has Fang isolated here in the corner, but I don't know if he knows about it. He's got Hex coming around to support his back. That's going to be important because he can't pull this crosshair out. He's got to focus in, and indeed, the patience That's is rewarded. And I'm dead to rights. Now the next to fall as well. Ben Lee trying to bring that ball to meet up with his comrades. Well, now there's no comrades. There is only Ben. Elite though he may be. 
going to take some time here to stew. Hope that someone gives him a kill to make his life just a little bit easier. Hope that it spreads out these NRG players just that little bit to make this possible. Spot on. Molotov should finish Hex. He doesn't have any health. Trying to stall for his teammates, and indeed he is forced out into the flames. So now a 1v2, a lot more viable here for Ben Lee. Gotta be headshots, and Nitro braves wow. the flames to make sure he won't be doing that. Is a ballsy play from Nitro because if it doesn't work out, it ends up in a 1v1. But he wanted the element of surprise and he absolutely gets that. Not expected at all for him to be pushing through the smoke by Ben Lee. Or excuse me, through the Molotov by Ben Lee. So well played again. He leads the scoreboard with 17. And he's still got that dog in it, Mike. We were questioning it when he first joined this roster, but I think he's more than proven. And he's exceptionally capable in the fragging department still. Nitro, okay, what? well, not that rough because he got blindsided oh. by three Tech Nines. But now, party astronauts are going to charge into what is known by NRG towards the B site. They are ready and waiting. OC with the AWP. This is the shot. Hex is able to get one, but still frags coming through for PA. Back and forth they oh go my. until Breeze gets a 2k. OC going to throw that incendiary onto the site. Makes life difficult for Fang, but not difficult enough. Although Breeze will close it out, Mike, in good fashion. 4k for him. Someone's going to look back on that and go, well, he just got them against Eeks, but... Oh! What, what? Breeze, come on. You're the guy Breeze. who deserves it right now. Come on. You put the four together. You saved the team. You bailed him out. He's just a selfless guy, you know? Just always looking to give <laughs> a, a teammate a hand. He's a giver. Or a mouth, or whatever they could use. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Uh, that, got, that got real frisky. One of the scariest buys in Counter-Strike right now is the Tech 9 Rush. And it uh, is <laughs> Party terrifying. Astronauts almost made that work. In CS2, truly more terrifying than CSGO by a long shot, honestly. Mm -hmm. Days of Olaf Meister. Oh, yeah. Lucy gets caught, and so does Automatic. All right, 5v3, just like that. Let's Boy. see if Nitro can pull it back this time. Oh, he's just missed Fang going into the smoke. Now, <laughs> Nitro very fortunate that those nades didn't reveal more. They are in trouble. Panic stations here. Need a huge play. Breeze delivered it last time. Ah, chasing down the one. Gets caught by the other. Shadows betraying Breeze here a little bit. And with that, it's going to be a save for the remaining NRG players. And a Ben Leet who's a little eager for this hunt. It's time of plenty. Peeping might come and join him. As this bomb gets planted, the most important thing top of their minds is double digits on the board and another tie ball game. Honestly, Fang is playing a great game right now. He's the star player for the party astronauts, and that's what they expect him to be as uh, the lead rifler on the squad. I think he just got great timing there. He got into mid before energy were able to really plant their feet, and he catches the first one off, and then the smoke kind of benefits him as the player sneaks around it, but he's already waiting for that fight. And you're going to see here Hex and Nitro trying to save, and Hex already gets one, but now it's going to be hard to hang on to this. A second? Not a third. Sir, surely, and there we go. Ben Lee takes him down. Nitro going to be chased for sure. And he wins the fight with the first. And the, my God. Wow. Nitro oh is boy. on it right now. Still. Sharp. It is going to be his team forced onto the eco. But we get one of these situations once more, John. Nitro yep. with a saved gun and some upgraded pistols. This is the third such round in this series, and they've all been interesting. To note as well, the money situation isn't exactly fantastic for the party astronauts, and I know they don't really have much to say for since it's so close and we're down to like the, the final rounds here of regulation, but still, mm. the bop's going to be a little bit rougher. You're going to have a Galil here for peeping, and utility is going to be full. They are going in on energy side. Is that for sure? Oh, they're yeah, going they're in. Definitely gonna go. Okay. They're going in. Yeah, Breeze bought a Deagle, sold it, and they are going all the way. Nitro has enough for another rifle too. This isn't bad. No, no, there's a lot behind this, and I mean they've got enough utility as well that you can compensate for these MP9s by getting aggressive somewhere on the map. 
Smoke out a spawn, that's for the elbow. Fast playing towards B though. PA aren't messing around, they're going quick. And there's only one player here on site. No, oh, they realize they've been rumbled. Nitro gets one, but he needs more. Dancing around the pillar, flashbang's decent to buy him some time, but not enough. Big kill though for automatic. Man, advantage maintained, keeping battling forward. Flashbang's lethal, and how does OC stay alive? He won't for long. Bomb's not yet planted. And all this while, Breeze is getting closer on the flank. There's a long flank, and he just has the MP9. But he's found the space. He found the reroute. Knowing that the bomb's not being planted, he's going to wait for those numbers to get punched in. But he was just watching it. He can't be missing, and he won't be. Keeps his teammate alive, even if he doesn't find the kill just yet. Oh, nice from Fang, taking the initiative, forcing the tight range engagement that Breeze is not expecting. It's all on the hacks. He will find the first, but no more. Nearly had it. Even a shot hit on the Fang. But it is PA in the lead now with the wind in their sails. Honestly, throughout all that chaos, I think it was more beneficial that the party astronauts hadn't planted the bomb yet because then you're a little more wary of the possibility of a CT getting around on that flank on you, and that's exactly what happened, right? They turned around, they had to face in that direction, and then Breeze, well, although he does wait for the bomb to be planted to his credit, comes out and they're waiting for it because of how much time had elapsed. If the bomb gets planted sooner, maybe you get that element of surprise because they won't realize, they won't be thinking about how much time's elapsed before they got that bomb down to dirt anyway nrg are gonna call a timeout i mean that was a gamble round and it didn't go their way that's two in a row for the party astronauts they're gonna gamble again it feels like it it looks like it they absolutely will this is very very spicy from them they're saying we're not playing for overtime we're playing for keeps we're gonna try and shut down pa right here and i can't blame them either because the rounds have been close and the yeah. money's not great for pa but you're also getting in a situation where you're just never going to get a proper buy to do this. Yes, yeah. So win here. they're gambling. They've been gambling. That presumably is the decision they made in the last. It's just, hey, we're gonna we're gonna go all the way down. Yeah. We're gonna chase this force every step of the way. So this time the stack come towards B. It's aggression in towards Cave. And oh my goodness, flashbang's good for it. Flashbang's good for it. It's gonna get so very messy, but. Damage they find, kills not quite in the number that they needed. I like the idea. It's an absolute madcap play. Flashbangs were mostly good. But OG Wizards' vision was clear enough to see through that one. Honestly, it was really nice movement from Nitro as well. This one's not over. OC's got a pretty good line here with the Deagle, but he's not hitting the shots like Infinite did. Now he finally hits one, but it's only one. Mm. Benley gets the immediate trade. It's only automatic left with a 5-7 again. Coming in on the flank from Ramp, but I don't know how successful he's going to be here. There's just too many bodies watching. Might Ooh, spotted. Might be able to get a rifle. Might just turn this into a save. Especially yeah. now that he's been seen. MP9 is not. There's a rifle there. There has exactly to be. a rifle. There we go. Oh, no? it's a Mac 10. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some, and he wouldn't be saving it anyway. Well, you could argue that if you have found a rifle there, he might get that kill, right? <laughs> so... Ah, ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah. But what it is is series point not established not because it's just map point right now and the hud <laughs> is lying to us Are party astronauts looking to take us to a third We're looking to take us to anubis all righty that will certainly be interesting should we get there i think that anubis would still statistically favor nrg and i would argue that it'll be even harder for the party astronauts to find success there but it's not to get there. statistics only round. matter before you get in the server. Yep. Then once you once do, there, all that matters is gone. crosshair on foreheads, John. <laughs> I would say it's a little more complex than that, but crosshairs yeah. on foreheads. <laughs> what more do you need? Good strap book helps. Eh. 
I'm not here to read. And MP9s are here to write a new history to this round. Hex finds a kill. Now tight up on the angle. Automatic can only find the one. Did they expect Breeze? Yes. Yes is the answer. Fang with an advantage now on, but fast into the fray. Hex already here. Things are getting very frisky. Hex! Oh! Nearly seals the deal on this one. Nitro will be out. OG Wizard stuck on the big box of Nitro <laughs> to drop him down behind it. We still got a game here, folks. We still got some rounds. I was about to call Fang the MVP right there. I thought he had that third one. I thought, I thought we were done. <laughs> the party astronauts had their 13th round, but no. Hex to the rescue. Star Rifler going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh, Star Rifles going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other, I should say, and Hex doing a phenomenal job there. The spray, just the spray through the smoke and uh, around the two players, really well done. And we're into round number 24. We do indeed go the distance here in regulation. A lot of aggression for NRG, and OC goes down. Automatic, fantastic trade. Absolutely have to get that. Breeze is spotty, trying to bait for automatic, and it works! Oh my goodness, they completely forgot that the second player was there, or maybe didn't realize that Breeze had an M4 versus the FAMAS that they were just killed by. Mm. Now Fang's trying to charge into this A site, which is vacated, but not for long, Mike. No, you got a player CT, you got two in towards Donut. This is far from an easy take. They're gonna bunch up, go with numbers. Bombs now drop down. Maybe Fang is a little further along than they expect him to be. That's your one silver lining. And he is gonna turn that into a kill on automatic. But Hex out here on the big box. Naded down, still alive. That's a utility gone for party astronauts. They gotta do it with the guns. And there's no reason for Hex to move before his teammates take contact. There's that contact. There's that kill. Hex doesn't even have to budge. And it all falls to Fang was hoping to be given another kill on the rotation through Temple, but that's not to be. Instead, they're inching out, looking for him, and it'll be Nitro to escort him out of the round. We're going to overtime, John. We're getting more. Oh, man. Fang's going to be kicking himself for that previous round, right, where he doesn't finish off that frag. It's got to be lingering in his mind, thinking, man, if I get that, we're done. Um, and again, he played very well in regulation. Honestly, the best player for the party astronauts, leaps and bounds, uh, the best player. Infinite was the one who started the fire, and Fang is the one with the kindling, throwing that kindling into it repeatedly and keeping it alive. So, um... <sighs> Yeah, it's just a shame for the party astronauts. They can't close it out because now NRG have new life. Breathe into them. We're into OT. We got the guns back up for both sides. So may the best team win. It's such a shame for the party astronauts. They don't see Anubis after this performance. NRG are getting aggressive out of Jaguar once more. Nitro well, doubles back this time. Says, you know what? I don't feel too confident in that and he falls back peeping throws then molotov and will certainly force nitro all the way out of this position such a different game you know when teams aren't being forced to to desperation plays by limited utility and limited weaponry mm -hmm. everyone just goes so slow here we got the nades we got the smokes okay Okay, hold them back. Nice Nate pop there from OC. Sets himself up for a quick op kill. And it's Fang out of the round as well. The guy who's been delivering for the party astronauts now takes a back seat. They want to pinch in towards B. The player threw towards red. That puts Breeze on high alert. But indeed, having that third player in Breeze available makes this a little easier. Hex first contact on these cave players, but it's an op looking for him, and it's an op Ooh. that we'll find. Now they're in a bit of a tough spot. Breeze wants to play ahead of this smoke to try and give Nitro some comfort, but Breeze taking out the ramp player. Now they can focus on towards cave. That's bomb dropped as well. The player through red hasn't activated. Now OC's on the angle. Breeze out of play, but Nitro still capable very wow. much so. And at this point, Infinite's just waited too long. He doesn't have time. Even if he found that kill, there would be no chance to get back into the round. Oh, goodness me. What a round from NRG again. And it's Nitro just ridiculous with the rifle. I mean, we talked about Hex kind of bringing us here, but Nitro is the one who carried the torch all the way to that finish line and helped them get to this point. Infinite 
does get that frag on Breeze, but again, like I was saying, Nitro holding the perfect angle, and I think OG Wizard might have thrown the Molotov in the wrong place there, because he isolated himself and his teammate into cave in that situation with very limited time left on the clock, and the, the ramp player tried to come through and couldn't do anything because the, the cave players couldn't support. Anyway, time is going to be called by Energy just to talk things over and get themselves ready here for what will be the second round of the first overtime. And away we go. NRG looking to right this ship, as they have done ably to get us into overtime. But you know they're thinking, like, come on, we guys, we, we dumpster these guys on this map. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Definitely uh, on their minds, without a doubt, Mike. And another thing that's on both these teams' minds is that if they win here, they'll face off against M80, one of the titans here in Challenger League. Definitely a tough opponent, mm -hmm. but you got to get past them if you want that spot. If you want to make it through. And as we said before, the Titans have started to bleed a little bit. Maps given over to actually both these teams in their series in the regular season. So they're not some monolithic force. Oh, oh. Nading for the pop. There it is. Nitro not prepared for the turn. Breeze down for one. Hex with the transfer. Oh, nearly the third. What? And sets up automatic indeed. Fang is nowhere close to this one. Trying to catch the lurk rotation and now making noise in doing so. He'll be heard by OC. Give Automatic plenty of time to set up yeah. for this one. What a transfer from Hex. Thought he had the third almost. He almost did. And this is feels nigh impossible for Fang. 20 seconds left. Has to get the bomb back. Yeah, it's done. OC hits the shot. Easy peasy lemon squeezy for them. They had the... Tr uh, excuse me, the tramp. I want to speak here and I can't mic. The words, words are coming out. Crossfire! They had the there crossfire we go. set up. <laughs> 14 to 12. In favor of of nrg and i mean that one wasn't smooth sailing at all but hex really delivered the killing blow you already talked about it mike with those two frags and almost the third coming through party astronauts need just all around here in the first half of overtime if they don't get it oh boy i don't know an opener on that's a very Nice boost. Fang is gone, though. Cleared up in towards mid. They give him a lot of responsibility to find space in towards mid. And this time, well, doesn't last too long. Breeze in the molly. Oh, my goodness. A racking ball into the setup. Sets up OC as well for another. It all falls to infinite to try and keep them off of map point. An infinite low on health. Plenty of time. The bomb on his belt. But so many angles to cover. He's got the right idea on the first. Oh. Next, maybe trying to get ahead of himself here, but there will be no slipping back out of the angle. OC will not allow it. I felt it again, Mike, for a moment. <laughs> that infinite had that clutch coming through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the magic from infinite, because that's a similar situation as he, as he was in before in regulation with the Deagle, but uh, it doesn't happen. So now party astronauts, excuse me, not party astronauts, NRG have three opportunities at series point. Will they be able to pull it off? It feels likely, given that uh, the party astronauts have really let slip away a golden chance at a map number three. As we go into it, are we going to see a fast play from NRG? Yeah, I, I think so. I think they're just sending it A. They're going to try and fight immediately up against Infinite. Let's see what Infinite's got here. He's got one and actually pretty much two because it's a TK from Automatic onto Breeze. So that will hold the troops in place on the NRG side for a moment to get the UTOL out. Nitro what? needs a big play. He doesn't get it. And the party astronauts shut down that attempt. I was an ambitious bomb plant trying to do it just while the smokes were up. And yeah, PA not allowing this. There will be at least a delay of the celebration here for NRG. 
as party astronauts are not a team to go down without swinging. Oh, we got the we got the gun charm on the end of the gun. Oh, the little bean. I don't I don't know how I feel about this, John. How do you feel about the gun charms, John? We've got a little bit of time here. I love them, actually. I think they're cool. It's a I, fun addition. Right? How am I not surprised that you like the new collectible? <laughs> well, well, you shouldn't be because it, it makes sense. I love these collectibles. And for me, it's just... Okay. I see. I don't think he does much. Yep, there you go. I don't know. It's just a nice little addition that you can make. I think it would be ridiculous if they let you add more than one charm to the gun. I think that would go a little too far, but they mm -hmm. only let you put one, so... John, if they made tax forms uh, collectible and rare, you'd be trying to file multiple times. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I, I think it's also pretty cool because they added paint seeds to every single charm, so you can get rare ones. I don't know if you already saw that, but like you can get a golden AK, for example, um, I charm. I have not. So, yeah, yeah. To be honest, AK I looked charm. at the charms, and I thought, if I put that on my gun, I'll never focus on my crosshair again. So... <laughs> I already struggle enough with caster brain where I spend too much time looking at the mini map. I don't need more things jangling in my face. <laughs> I have the same problem, honestly, but I don't care. I want those charms. Certainly, keeping's not going to have any problems here. No. No caster brain. It's locked in brain right now for party astronauts. Bean or no bean. Right on the tip, too. Dangle that dangle. So distracting. Automatic looking to take this space in towards mid. And quieter this map than on yeah. Inferno, certainly. But uh, we know. He gets that chance for the entry. He can be lethal. Speaking of which. Woo -hoo -hoo, the jump across, not punished. Four players here for B, though. Lean. Yeah. I think it's temporary. Yeah, Fang is, is backing off immediately. I think he just wanted to hover around towards Short B to say, okay, if, if they come this way, I'll help out. But he's quickly deviated towards mid. That said, it's still very light on the A side. These three players are really committed for the party astronauts on to B. And now they've lost their A anchor. Uh-oh. It's going to be a retake. It's going to be a retake. Fang needs to be careful not to die before that happens. You know there's no donut presence, so this is a comfortable plant for NRG to get some utility down, get those numbers punched in. Plenty of time for it. Now, there's no util to fend off the retake. It's going to have to be the guns. Nice tag. Nice frag for Nitro. Oh, and there's the OC Nitro combo uh -oh. whittling them away. But now oh. it comes to automatic to deliver the killing blow. And so he shall. NRG strong. It took a battle into overtime, but they make it happen. Maybe some magic on that party astronaut side on Ancient, but it just wasn't enough, John. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely not, even though it felt like it was going to be for that moment, right? I talked about it. Round number 23, Fang, a 2K, the chance.